Hello, I'm Andrea Olson of Go Diaper Free, and I've taught over 10,000 parents worldwide how to do elimination communication with their babies and be free from diaper dependence from as early as birth. In this video today, I'm going to share with you everything I know about signals. Okay, so the most common signal the way, the number one way to know that your baby needs to go to the bathroom is a shift in energy, usually resulting in fussiness and crying. So let's take the newborn range or let's take a brand new newborn. Like I have a five week old right now. His number one signal for needing to go to the bathroom is crying. Um, but before that happens, if I tune in to his body language, the body language actually says, Ooh, 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 I'm uncomfortable, I'm uncomfortable, I'm uncomfortable. Maybe the bladder's filling up. I don't like this pressure, it feels weird. Wah, wah, I need to go to the bathroom, take this diaper off of me so that I can go hygienically because yes, babies do have instincts and they're very, very strong. If you think about a dog in a crate, they're not gonna soil their den. A baby in a diaper is not gonna soil his pants. So usually they cry, 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 and that's their main signal. And we can't figure out what in the heck they want until we realize, oh, let's check the diaper and the diaper is wet. Well, if we would have realized it when they first started signaling and taking them, babies actually hold it. They have sphincter control as early as birth and they hold it until you get that diaper off and get them to the right place. And then psst, we make the cue and they release. So the number one signal is getting fussy, wriggling, crying, a shift in energy, getting uncomfortable. So that all is lumped into one big signal in my book. Um, and I do have a book on this. It lists all the signals you could possibly imagine in them. So we'll just cover a few of the main ones today. So now let's look at a mobile baby. A mobile baby will signal by coming to you and tugging at your leg. They'll crawl over. They'll look at you from across the room. Hey mom. If they talk yet, they'll say mama. And you'll think that they just, oh, how sweet my baby wants me and wants to be with me and wants to cuddle. And then you pick them up and they're like, oh, I don't feel right. I don't like this. I don't actually want to be held. And so you put them back down and then they want up and it's like this yo-yo. Well, really a baby who's mobile coming to you is a signal. It's a signal that, hey, I'm actually super independent already in my life. And I really need you though, to remove these clothes, this, this diaper and these clo this clothing so that I can go to the bathroom. So second signal would be coming to you when they're mobile. A signal that's very common for a young toddler, whether they're wearing diapers as a backup or not, uh, no judgment here. You can use whatever you want while you're doing EC. You're just noticing, um, oh yeah, so baby's over there in the corner hiding behind the couch and grimacing and, and, and pushing up like that. And it looks like a smile. Almost, oh. That is, okay, so that's two signals right here we're going to cover real quick. Number one is a universal poop signal. You know when your baby is pooping and some of them are stealth poopers and you don't really catch until they're in the middle of it. You can say wait and take them and potty and it'll totally finish. They'll finish in the toilet. They're amazing. Then they'll start holding it and start looking at you, which is that second signal, right? So the poop signal is that face of the grimace of the bearing down. You know that that's happening. Now let's jump back to young toddlers. The most common signal for young toddlers is to um, go and seek privacy. The other one for even younger toddlers just started to walk um, would be to grab their crotch or their diaper or pull or touch their bottom and kind of look at you. And so that's a really common signal. So just off the top of my head, some other signals that babies of all ages will make when they need to go to the bathroom and which is a great time to offer a potty tunity or an opportunity to go to the potty. Um, crying, wriggling, fussing, um, night crawling during sleep, trying to jump out of the carrier, arching out of the carrier while you have them in a baby carrier is a very common signal as well. Uh, coming to you, saying the word, trying to emulate the noise you make, some of them do raspberries or some of them try to make the P sound or some of them say po. That's what my, um, one of my sons did. Um, pointing at the toilet, going to the toilet and banging on it. You think they're just playing like they want to be like you, but actually if you offered right then they probably would go because they know what the toilet's for. Our babies are so smart. Um, let's see what other signals can I think of off the top of my head? Getting really fussy in the car seat where they just don't want to be in there anymore probably means they need to go to the bathroom. Anytime they're in something and they stop like in the, in the high chair, they start bearing down or they just stop and pause and the whole energy shifts. They go from really, really active to really, really still or really, really still to really, really active, which is more common for toddlers. So again, there's a whole list of signals and actually, um, you can get 
I'm going to give you below this video access to my log, my observation log and my signal sheet. So you can look at and download the signal sheet and see the full list of signals. This is like over a hundred possibilities. Um, so you can know this first road to potty time signals when baby needs to go to the bathroom. And I also have some demo videos on signals as well here on my YouTube channel. So enjoy those and hopefully this will sort of decode, oh, okay, when my baby shifts in this way, that's actually a signal. And then when you see my babies in action in the other video for the signals and you really get a handle on what does an EC signal look like? And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below with any questions you have and subscribe to my channel. It really makes a big difference. It means a lot to um, how many people will see these videos. And if you need more information and the best way to start, go to godiaperfree.com. You'll find all my resources there. Thanks again. I'm Andrea. Have a great day.